My name is Male Shohonolo Moleko, and I come today with a message of determination, cooperation, and opportunity. When determination and cooperation comes together, incredible things do indeed happen. Let me share with you my story. I live in Buipatong, Fanabel Park, South Africa. And I'm a business owner. And I'm a mother of a wonderful young man, Mpo, who turned 21 last December. At the age of 18, I fell pregnant and gave birth to Mpo and spent a lot of time taking care of him. In 2006, I opened my first business at the age of 32. It initially started as a bakery, but now I also sell full meals to my customers who are mostly workers at a nearby industrial site. My second business is a small shop nearby where we sell many things like beverages, snacks, mobile phone airtime, and electricity coupons. I love to cook and try new recipes just to please my customers. I've always dreamt of owning a restaurant, and I'm working very hard to make sure that I realize that dream one day. It wasn't easy starting my business. I realized that I had many business skills. I mean, I, I didn't have many business skills. Although I completed 12 years of schooling and received my matric certificate, unfortunately, I couldn't further my studies because of lack of finances. When starting my business, I borrowed money from the bank to rent space, purchase ovens, cooking supplies, and other items that I needed. However, I found myself having difficulty balancing my accounts. Several times I had to run to my brother and ask him to lend me money just to get by. This was embarrassing and frustrating because I couldn't figure out how to make ends meet no matter how many hours I worked each day. Then I learned about a training workshop for women in business. I was accepted into the program with other 40 women, where we learned about time management, finance management, how to interact with our customers, and how to manage our employees. Taking these classes while running my business, taking care of my son, was hard work in itself about 15 hours a day of hard work and study. Before taking those classes, I was clueless about what it took to run a successful business. I didn't know how to budget properly. But while taking those classes, I learned that I should uh, separate my personal finances from my business finances. I learned that the, the money in the shop is not mine, but the business's and then I started paying myself a salary from the money. With this money, I'm paying for my son's education at Fanabel Park Business College. And I'm, ex I'm very excited because he'll be graduating next April. His future is the most important thing to me. Paul is very proud of me and thankful that I worked this hard to make sure that he finds, a, he finds an easier path to success. There are many women in my community who also want to start their own businesses, and they look up to me. I've started mentoring them and sharing with them what I've learned from these business skills workshops. I want women in South Africa feel that they could be financially stable. And there are also young girls in my community who don't see any chance of being successful because of falling pregnant at an early age. When I get the chance to talk to these girls, 
I tell them that when you are determined to work hard and wise enough to seek help from others who've been in business or been in their shoes, that anything is possible. It certainly has been for me. Look where I am today. Earlier this week, I boarded an airplane for the second time in my life. I, Malishonon Moleko of Bipatong, was asked to travel to the, to the United States to share my story with you. This week, I had many of my first experiences in Atlanta, and I'm very excited about going back home and sharing this experiences with my family and friends. I still have a long way to go to achieve all of my dreams. But I love knowing that everything that I've accomplished, I've worked hard for on my own. I never thought I could be financially stable, and it feels great. My story is one of hard work and passion, but I learned that hard work and passion was never, uh, was never enough. I needed someone to give me education, and I had no one to do that to me. I didn't need handouts. All I needed was a hand up. I'm not alone. I know that there are hundreds of millions of women throughout the developing world who can achieve what I've achieved. We have passion. We have determination. Please bring forth more partners and mentors like I received, and you'll see the world where that gap between poverty and plenty closes more and more each day. Education and training, these are the best gifts we can give young girls and women entrepreneurs the world over. Thank you for letting me share my story with you.